They would like Blizzard basically coming out with a patch for Warcraft 3 saying, Hey guys, we've been giving it some deep consideration and we decided that Griffins actually need a buff. Instead of doing 44 to 82 damage, they're now going to do 44 to 83 damage. And everyone's going to be like, wow, Griffins are really good now. Every game is nothing but Griffins. Flawless, you're wrong in so many ways and so often. And this is just another one of those ways. It just baffles my mind. Plus one agility to Pit Lord is actually a bigger deal. A big deal. Plus one agility is not bad, actually. That's a, that's Plus one agility is like 6,000 times more impressive than this stamina increase. And that is still kind of insignificant. I don't think this guy... Does he get bored? It looks like he gets bored. Nah, he doesn't actually. He was pretending. He was debating. But he's not going to give up. Come on in, let's do this. That's fair enough. I got no souls to lose now! I just want to kill the mimics, which means I'm going to have to kill these guys. Because if I kill the boss, I'm going to move into the next area. If you do that to stamina five times, it's a big difference though. That's what he's meaning. No, it's not. It's not. Like, you could do that five times into stamina and it's still going to be fucking nuts. It's going to be like a third of one of my... No, it's going to be less... Look at that. Look how much stamina that took. Even if I increased it about 14 times. I would have to increase it 14 times, I think, to get that effect. In fact, probably more like 24 times. So I would need approximately 300 and... 80,000 souls minimum. I know that people love to be controversial. It's what they strive for. Being a viewer in Twitch chat. A chatter in Twitch chat is to basically, basically say the opposite of what you should be saying. Flawless, just give it up. Seriously. Give it up. Stop even trying, mate. Much, did you? Just take a health potion. I don't know why you're not taking a health potion already. That works quite nicely. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
Yeah, it's 101%. How much strength do I need for that? 40 strength? This is going to get me killed, but... Definitely gonna get me killed. I just had to sort of play with it a little bit. <laughs> I didn't have enough stamina, like nowhere near. Maybe if I put 24 points into stamina, I might have been able to use the shield a bit more efficiently. That's fucking awesome, that shield. Yeah, I'll keep the shield. I don't know if I'll ever get around to using it, though. Maybe for, like, crazy hard fights or something. I'll have to start putting points into equipment mode again. Ladies. Oh, this guy's not even dead yet. How did he do that? Jesus, Cam. Oh, baby. Oh, Good way to farm souls, to be honest, but I'm not really too interested in farming. But maybe I have to, if I want to use that shield. Yeah, that's the frostbite kicking in. I wonder what the um, length, the duration of frostbite is. Like, if I... What the hell is that guy doing? Alright. Oh, <laughs> He's getting eaten by the mimic. If you get eaten, uh, sorry, if you um, hit with this weapon, how long is that effect lasting for? Like, for example, how long until you have to hit again before it wades, fades off? Like, for example, if I used Dark Ranger's Black Arrows and you get that little effect on the creature that you're attacking, and for four seconds, like, if they die under that effect, it spawns. But if you stop attacking, they no longer have the effect on them. So basically, that's what I'm wondering. How long until Frostbite resets itself in between attacks? Does it just remember the whole time? It's probably like a bar that drops down very quickly. Oh, Gorm! How's it going? How are you doing, man? My boy, Yorm. Okay. Not gonna take much damage, are we? Gonna have to hit something. Maybe that hand that is glowing. Yeah. 
really doesn't seem to like me being here. I didn't think I was in range for that one, but... but how long do you think Warcraft do you think Warcraft 3 if they did never do the reforge thing? Would it last? Warcraft 3, well it's last it will last forever. Or long enough at least. I mean it's what, sixteen years old now at this point? The reforge thing doesn't wasn't even like that necessary. It's nice that they're doing it, but it's not like Ah oh, finally I can play Warcraft 3 again. Okay, I'm gonna have a look around Yorm's room. And then I'll try some more attacks, and then I'll get a little bit confused as to how I'm supposed to kill them when I'm doing 135 damage on attack. I'm supposed to be friends with him. So I just gotta convince him that I'm not a bad guy. Oh, that could be it. Wow. Death by a thousand cuts. Am I doing two for all EOS this time? I can do two for all. Hoferol. It's going to be a lot of units, though. Alright, well, I'm not sure what this weapon's supposed to bring to the table. I don't know what FP, FP cost is. Amount of FP consumed by... Oh, alright, performer skill. Why do you never use weapon art? It never seems worth it. Maybe he doesn't like fire. You realise that there's not always that many opportunities to use weapon art when you're being attacked by a giant. Oh, what the hell is that supposed to do? Doesn't like give you any indication as to what the heck it does.
That's quite a lot of souls, actually. I'll tell you what, mate. I'll see you later. Welcome, husband. Very well, then take me. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. Well, very well, then take me. Farewell, Ashen Shut One. Shut the fuck up. Great shield is the secret. It's not really. I don't think that great shield is going to help versus this guy, but it is cool. Shield's cool. And don't you forget it. Don't you dare forget it. Do a roll, Mr. Gargoyle. Go talk some sense into your He's gotta break all these pillars down and the roof collapses on him. That's one strategy. They could just be for decoration, like the smell fight. Oh. Wrong pillar. of respect these bosses have for their own sort of rooms. Baffles me. Like, 
Would you destroy your own house if a fly was basically flying around in it? it seems like an overreaction. There you go, that's the last pillar. Boss is dead now. GG. All play. I guess the fire didn't do too much damage. There we go, one health, boys. I'm politely asking him to stop attacking you. DS3 has a built-in mic function. I'm just going to kill him. It's clear that there's supposed to be some other strategy, but I feel like I could just kill him with normal attacks, even if it takes long enough. Like he'd, he'd be vulnerable to some sort of like either lightning or... Magic or dark. The boss has 27,000 health. Well, you could see his health was dropping. This is the Smaug and Ironhorn, or whatever his name was, the fight that I've been looking for. This is it, boys.
What's up, good car? Oh, I got greedy there. He did three hits on that one. <laughs> okay, so... I guess the only other strategy would be to do something like... Can this benefit from applied magics like lightning and such? Maybe even Storm Ruler could. So I could just apply it and try attacking him. See if that does like bonus damage. I suppose, is there an easy way to know whether a weapon can actually um, have applied effects to it? Like, is there actually, like, some text or something that says it can't? Storm Ruler's got to be put in some place. you got to insert it into the throne room and he stops attacking you, yawn. Becomes your buddy. I'll just use its special effect and then attack the boss. I suppose the problem is, is if, what if you didn't have these items? So any boss that requires specifically you to have something like this, I don't know if they would be in the game. Because what if you didn't have those items? I can't apply any of those. I don't have a weapon that can benefit from these. That's weird, isn't it? Not even a single one of those weapons benefits from it. What's the point of them if I can't apply them to any weapon I have? <laughs>
if you get him to smash his own throne. Because that'll work. Nah, I'm not sure now. This is the part where you probably would look it up, to be fair. Like, I tried destroying the pillars. I tried applying stuff to my weapons. I tried using the special ability of this weapon on the boss and also on his thing. I've, you know, I don't think there is anything. What do you mean, don't look it up? You've all bloody done it yourselves, so don't try to kid me as if you haven't done it. Oh, you're not allowed to look it up, but I did. Press X on your weapons. I don't even know what X is. It's alright. I'm going to spoil it in a moment. Yawn. What's wrong with looking it up? I bet it's something really stupid as well. Hello everybody, Sean here. And we're taking a look at Yorm the Giant. One of the toughest, most vicious bosses in the game. So hard, in fact, that I, I dare say the hardest boss to ever be in a dark... That's... None of that's true. Yorm the Giant, very large fellow, but in fact, quite an easy boss. When you first enter this chamber. Run past the boss and grab the item by his throne. It's called the Storm Ruler Greatsword. Quickly equip it or teleport out of the boss fight so that you can equip it and look over the sword. What you want to do is come back into the arena with the sword ready, as you see here, and use the stance effect, which is going to start charging wind around the sword, as you see here. Are you shitting me? I did keep that. Keep waiting, keep waiting. You'll see the sword pulse, the wind gets very bright, and then boom! You detonate it right underneath your arm. That's all you need to do. If you I fucking did that. I obviously just didn't do it exactly right. So it's not like I spoil it because that's what I fucking did. So I already worked it out. Just didn't do it for long enough. That's it. Lol. That was the big that was the big deal of how you're supposed to beat him. That's terrible. I didn't spoil myself, I fucking worked it out. But in classic Dark Souls, nothing is very clearly explained. I used the special stance effect. Alright, I'll tell you what. It was obvious that it would have to be something because his health isn't dropping quick enough. Like any boss that does that, you've got to hit like the magic bracelets or whatever. Alright, let's go kill this boss then. I want to see how much damage a normal attack does and then I'll do the stance attack. Got to find a gap now where he's too busy attacking.
annoying. His kind of foot moved just slightly out of range there. That was so stupid. I was using that bloody stance like that, and I thought that was what the stance was. Because every weapon I've used where I've used the stance, you've never had to hold it down for an effect to occur. You either just use it and it goes boom and gives you the effect, or you hold it and attack. So the game has never taught me at one point that there is a weapon where you can hold it and then you get the effect. So no one's going to know that unless they just come by it by accident because the game hasn't done anything to teach you that. The item tells you in the text, yeah well good fucking luck reading it, this is Dark Souls. Do you realise how fucking difficult it is to actually find shit in this game? Like you go to help. Explanation. Yeah, that's all fucking great. Okay. Then you have to right click on your mouse. Click, left click on your mouse here. Because the controllers don't do... Because it's not designed for a fucking PC. And you go simple. Well, that don't do shit. Then you go detailed. Then you go help. Then you go, okay, explanation. No, that, that doesn't fucking tell me shit. And then you go help again. You go a few controls. So you have to press something like Y. Y doesn't change the screen. I know that if you swap the screen, it will tell you something different about the weapon, but I don't fucking know what hotkey that is. Because I'm using a fucking mouse and keyboard, okay, boys and girls. But that wasn't apparently obvious to you. I still don't even know what the hotkey is to actually get it to change the screen. I'm just pressing buttons now. Everything on my keyboard. Thank you and good night. If the game was actually well designed in terms of its sort of um, flexibility with encouraging the user to understand what the fuck is going on, then fair enough, you might have a point. But it's completely not. I genuinely don't even know how to get... I know you can sort of swap it. So this swaps over and shows you something else, but I don't fucking know what the hotkey is. No, it's not tab either. So you're saying in chat what it is, but you're wrong. Backseat gamers don't know shit. You easily could have read it. No, I couldn't. Did I not just fucking explain exactly why I could not have easily read it? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, man.
terrible. I know you're all going to say, Dark Souls is the worst, best designed ever interface and user interface, and it's 100% clear what you should be doing. I know because I've played the game 30 times. So you should know on your first time exactly how everything works. I know exactly how you guys think. I know exactly how you fuckers think. And you're completely oblivious to it. You're as ignorant as I am. You just don't want to accept it. Okay, let's get this vitality up. Farewell, I should need. Any other game is like The Witcher 3 or whatever RPG style third person game. You can easily go into the inventory, the weapons, and find out what it is they do, get the descriptions. In Dark Souls, they fucking deliberately make it... I don't think... No, they don't even deliberately make it. It just is terrible because they don't put any effort into actually helping the users. It's like the laziest game developers of all fucking time. 